Hey everyone, Andrew Roboto here, and welcome back to Five Nights of Warriors 3 Custom Room Edition, where we will be taking on part two of the Custom Room Edition in the indoor pool. And for this room, Wario and Luigi are active, and I've set them to their levels, and I've also set the camera power and the breath meter to their levels because I actually didn't realize till now, but um, the reason why the camera power didn't go down in the last video was because I didn't. I had it on level zero, so I apologize for that. But anyways, without further ado, we will take on part two of the custom custom night in the indoor pool and see what it has to offer for us. And I set the camera to level five just so that it doesn't go down instantly on level ten. If that's why. All right, we have a phone call. All right. Hey there, I just wanted to let you know uh, Mike is taking over the phone call shift tonight. That's all. Uh, stay safe, man. Oh, we're having a different phone guy. Okay. Hello? Hello? Hi. Oh, thank God. You're okay. Hey, uh, just wanted to say, uh, I'm, I'm sorry that you're stuck in this situation. But hey, we'll get through this. Uh, anyways, where did you hide? In, in the indoor pool? Oh, oh no. That room is so bright, it'd be easy for anyone to see you. Plus, the only place for you to hide is... is in the water. Yeah. Tonight. Uh, if anyone enters, you'll need to quickly dive into the water to not be seen. But don't get too panicked and forget the fact that you need air. Also, uh, keep making oh, sure there isn't anything in the water. If you see something inside of the water, just watch your cameras and pretend you don't see it. This may make it go away. If you dive in the water and something's there, it might not end well for you. That should be all for tonight. Stay calm, stay safe, and I'll talk to you tomorrow. Good night. Okay, so I can already tell Luigi's going to be the one in the pool, so we have to look at the cameras if he's ever there. To make him go away, because if we jump in the pool, then he will kill me. And speaking of the indoor pool, I actually activated the cheat instant recharge so that when we go in the pool, we can instantly recharge the breath meter. Without having to have it recharge. Okay, I see Wario, so I'm assuming Wario is going to be the one coming into the pool, the room, and we have to jump in the pool. Alright, the pool looks a lot different than it does in Five Nights at Warriors Trap Within. Like, it looks more like a public pool than a than a home pool because it has a hot tub in it. Oh, Luigi's here. I gotta look at the camera. Cause I saw I saw his arm sticking out, so I had to look at the camera to make him go away. And like I was about to say, um in Final Horror's Trap within the pool's just a generic house pool, not a public pool like like with that hot tub and the and the and the lifeguard tube. Okay, Wario just moved. Alright. And like I and like I explained about like I said about the um camera power, um I have it on level five because if I have it on level ten it will go down instantly. And I won't have enough time to recharge it. Okay, I see Wario, he's in the study. And I'm constantly checking the cameras so that I can get rid of Luigi. And then I'm checking in the pool area for Wario. Because if Wario comes in, we're going to have to jump in. And he has the same mechanic as he does in Trap with them. But Luigi has a different mechanic. Okay, Wario's in the game room. For Luigi and Trap with them, if he's in the pool, we have to look in the opposite direction. And what's cool about this, what's good about this game is that um, we don't have to constantly adjust the pool temperature like in the in Trapped Within. Because in Trapped Within, the pool is controlled by a thermometer. But in this game, it isn't. Okay, Wario's in the attic, which I'm assuming he's going to come. Oh, Luigi's here. i got to look at the camera. Oh, wait, Wario's back in the game room. Okay.
And the camera power actually does go down faster on level 5, so I might change it to level 3 or 4 and for the next level. Okay, I see Wario. I, ha I haven't had a jump in the pool so far, so so far we're, we're good. And I wonder if I can jump in the hot tub. That'd be pretty cool. Okay, Wario's in the attic. I see him on the camera. And so far I haven't had a jump in the pool yet. Because I've been checking Wario on the camera. So I'm assuming he stays on the camera if I check on him from time to time. Because Luigi I know will will go will leave if you check the cameras constantly. So I haven't had to worry too much. Yeah, he's still in the attic. Okay, Wario's still in the attic, so that's a good thing. And if I'm lucky, I might not have to jump in the pool for Wario at all. Because in Trapped Within, I had to jump in the pool. When, oh, he's in the room, so I gotta jump in! Okay. Okay, so if you press 3, that recharges the, the breath meter if you use the cheat, which I just did. And I just had to deal with Wario right the second, same with Luigi. And if Luigi's in the pool, then you have to leave. But you gotta pay attention to Wario, too. Okay, so that's a good thing. And we've beaten part two of the custom night mode in the indoor pool. And that actually wasn't too hard, so that's a good thing. Okay, so let's see what we have next. Hold on a minute. Okay, so the next room we have is the game room, and since I have enough time left to record, we will take on the game room as in this in part two of the custom night mode as well. But before I do that, I have to I have to set the levels for Ashley and Demon Wario, because for this room, um, for this room, Wario, Luigi, Ashley, and Demon Wario are active, so I got to go set the levels for them. So I'll do that before I get started. And I'm gonna lower the and I'm gonna lower the camera power to level two just so it doesn't drain as fast. And for this mode, let me think. I could I'll I'll turn off the breath meter since we don't have to worry about that. And then I will set Ashley and Demon Wario to level five since they're active for this room. And then I'm gonna keep Wario and Luigi on level five since they're active as well. Oh wait. Oh, Demon Wario only goes up to level 1, so I'll keep him on level 1, since that's as far as he can go, and then the others on level 5. And I wonder how we're going to deal with them. Anyways, without further ado, we will take on part 2 of the custom night mode in the game room as well, and see what that's offer for us. Wario Awareness. Okay, we have a game controller and a camera, and Wario is asleep. Oh, we have a camera to check. Hey, uh, Mike couldn't make it, so Jack is going to be here for tonight's call. Uh, good old reliable Jack, am I right? Alright, uh, good night. Nice game room. Hey, man. Whoa, 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 hang on. What do you mean, be quiet? There's ghost in the room with you? How in the flying hell did you not notice a ghost in the room how, you're in? How the flying hell sleeping. is he in there? Oh, thank God. Okay, so as long as you're in the quiet room, you should be fine. Where are you? The game room? Okay, that's the direct opposite of quiet.
quiet, but whatever. So Obviously. Keep watching if anyone is behind you or something. You should see them in the TV reflection. There's a loud game system in there, so turn on the game when someone is behind you. But make sure you use the right game. If a younger and smaller ghost should enter, turn on an energetic game, like a racing game. Okay. If a taller and more shy ghost should enter, turn on one of the scary games. But make sure you do not wake up the ghost sleeping in there, okay? Of course. Also, be careful with that TV. When we were investigating in there, we were getting some strange feeling being around it. It might be nothing. But just be careful, man. Good night. Okay, so you can tell by the looks of it's a game room because you got Rock Band and it's Sorry, the board game, and then there's a bunch of references to other games in there, which I can't read them. Okay, so if there's if anyone's in the reflection, we have to turn on a game. And I'm going to check the cameras just to see who's coming closer. Okay, so the pants... Whoa! Okay, okay, so if Demon Warrior comes in, we have to mash the space bar to stop him. Okay. The pantry and the study are the closest to the game room. So we're going to check those, and if we see a reflection, we have to turn on a game. Like, for a taller ghost, which I must, we have to turn on Spook House, smaller game. Okay, so we have to turn on a scary game for the tall ghost, energetic game for the short ghost, and we have to not wake up Wario, because he's asleep. Okay, Ashley's in the study. So she's going to be coming in soon. Oh, stop Demon Wario. Oh, Ashley's in the camera, so we have to turn on the racing game. Oh, the warrior awareness is going up, so we have to be aware of that. Okay. Did I stop Ashley? I think I did. Okay, I can turn off the TV now. Okay, so if Ashley comes in, we have to turn on the, the racing game. And if Luigi comes in, I'm assuming we have to turn on the spooky game if we see the reflections and we have to keep an eye on Wario's awareness or else he will wake up and kill me and then for demon Wario we have to mash the space button to stop him I haven't seen Luigi yet in the pantry but I've seen Ashley in the study okay And I'm making sure that the Wario awareness doesn't get full because we don't want him waking up because if he wakes up, then he'll kill me. Okay, is Ashley in the study? No, she is not. Luigi's not in the pantry, so that's a good thing. Because if Luigi comes in, we have to turn on a scary game. Ashley, we have to turn on an energetic game, which the game is Race Mario. Which is a racing game. Oh! Okay, I gotta stop Demon Wario. Okay. Okay, check the study for Ashley. Check the pantry for Luigi. Okay, neither of them are not there, so that's a good thing. And we have a TV to check their reflection. So if, if anyone comes in, we can just scare them away. I do like this game room, though. Because it's pretty cool. Okay, let's check the cam- I'm gonna check the cameras. I gotta check on Ashley and Luigi. Oh, Ashley's here, so I gotta turn on the racing game soon. And then I gotta check for Luigi. Okay, there's Ashley. Luigi I haven't seen yet, but I've seen Ashley, so I know she's gonna be coming in soon. Up oh, here's Ashley. We gotta turn on Race Mania. Okay, I'll keep that on for a little bit, then we gotta turn it off. Okay, let's turn it off. Okay, I got rid of Ashley, good. Checking the pantry for Luigi. Luigi's not there, so that's a good thing. 
Ashley, I just got rid of the racing game. And then Demon Warrior hasn't showed up yet this time around, but I know how to deal with him, obviously. <laughs> and then for Wario, we have to not wake him up, because he's, he's asleep. And Wario sleeping reminds me of Waluigi when we had to do the closet in Trap Within. Because Waluigi's asleep in the clo in front of the you in the closet. And if he wakes up, then you have to close the closet door on him. Alright, and we've beaten part two of the custom knife mode in the game room as well in this video. And that actually wasn't too hard to take on either, so that was a good thing. Okay, so I'm going to check out what we have next to do. Alright. Okay, I'm checking to see if I had Luigi on level 5. Okay, I did. I just didn't have to deal with him, coincidentally. Okay, so the next room we have to do is the, is the, the second playroom. Which we will take on the second playroom in part 3 of the Custom Night Mode, which will be in the next video. So, I will end my video here. Thank you for watching, everybody. Please hit the like button. Also, comment and subscribe. I appreciate all the support you have given me. Hit the bell to receive all notifications of upcoming videos on my channel. And I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.